Hi, I'm Christian Fausto. I'm Juan Salazar. Hi, I'm Mike Lushing. I'm Robin Neal. And I'm Patricia on camera. And today our project is going to be on pipes in series. And essentially we're proving the energy conservation for pipes in series, which basically says that the total head is equal to the summation of the head of each individual part. And we're going to prove this using two different methods, the velocity head method and the equivalent length method. Okay, so in our system today we have a two and a half inch uh, beginning point here diameter. And we have a contractor here that takes it from two and a half inches to one inch. And uh, we have the length of this pipe. We have a 90 degree elbow here with another contractor at the end of it that takes it from one inch to three quarters of an inch. Then we have the length here. Uh, there's another contractor at this joint here which takes it from three and a quarter inches to half an inch. And then we're gonna consider this entire pipe here which is half an inch uh, diameter as one pipe because there is no uh, difference in diameters there. And we have the, the oh, yeah, low power battery. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'll record the time. And then we're going to record the time as well as we open the, uh, the gate valve here. Ready? Ready? Go. As you can see here, we have a nice sound. Everything is low. So I'm going to talk about the possible um, errors in our that might occur in our experiment to have this 100% calculation. Is the fact that you can see towards the end here is that we don't have a reservoir as we're doing uh, filled all the way up. In like in the hypothetical situations we do have in our books. So towards the end here, we don't have that ex that same exact pressure. So we're going to have a differential uh, um, flow towards the end. Uh, other possible source of errors here, as you see, we have a minor leakage here, but. Um, it shouldn't be too much. That's completely full, five gallons, down the drain. And it took 56.25 seconds to go, how many gallons was it? Five gallons. Five gallons? Five gallons? Yeah. Five gallons? yeah. yeah. There are four points to get approximation. You guys might want to put it up now, just so okay. oh, if I want to be Yeah, for the second calculation, they have like 4.9. Yeah. Ready? Watch. Yeah. Two. Three. You want to just film this one with the CK2? We don't try to Uh, yeah, right? Uh, it's got a pretty strong pressure. Yeah. Lift it, lift it a little bit more. Yeah. 49. 49, 29. Perfect. Which makes sense. Awesome. So now that we have time, we can calculate velocity for velocity head method. We have the diameters, we know gravity, we have our charge for the KM values. We have everything? We could find our F value uh, in Google because we're using PVC pipe here. And um, For the equivalent length method, I think we're going to use Hayes and Williams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it for um, the, the procedure actually in the calculations. Thank you. Round of applause for the camera woman. <laughs> <laughs>